Hello to my people again, so welcome again to the Quantity Saving Platform or the QS Platform. Today we're going to be having another part about our project, of course, that we are working on. So today we're going to be drawing just the floor plans, sorry, 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 the floor uh, slabs. So starting from the ground floor, of course, all I got to do is that I come here today, slab tool. Okay, I chose this because this is the one to be edited. So let me have it like a 15 centimeter thick. So let me change this to be something like this. Okay, same as this one. Sorry, there's pins. Or you can even leave them the way they are. So I just activate these. If I hit this, they all get linked together. So if I unlink them, as you can see, we're gonna be having this color on different with this, different with this one. So uh, let me just use like these flow boards, and then on the edge, let me use something like this stone, stone, stone. Okay, this marble black stone. Okay, same as this one. Okay, I'll go with this and then hit. Okay, so far, all you gotta know is that this is the thickness. So, this is the offset to home story, means that this will be this top will be on zero as it is on this one. As you can see, this is the thickness, but the thickness includes within the offset to home story. So you check that out and you hit OK. So I got to draw, for example, let me start from this, from this up to here. So I hit Shift and select it. As you can see, I'm having, let me measure by M, I'm having a hundred right here so that's okay for me and then if I click this edge and then hit this offset edge I keep on moving so let me just come right here and then if I choose this black edge and then hit the add polygon I just add my I just I'm I'm just adding my flow slab okay I do the same sorry let me do the same right here and I just want to move this sorry I want to move this edge to this one okay and then I do this Add same as here. Let me just keep coming right here. Okay, and then I'll do something like this, and then something like this. And I still need to add this slab and yet. I still need to add it, of course. Okay, this is just so it. So, this one should be actually right here. Okay, so assuming here uh, I need, like, for example, I need, like, uh, okay, let me put it to be just 200, of course. At 200 of the balcony, let me just move this edge from here up to here, okay? Same as this one, move to 200, okay? And then, let me do the same right here, let me have like 150 right here, same as this one, 150. 
so as this one at 200 for example or even let me just have it this way okay and then if I just need to make sure that I have the offset of like 50 first of all let me do this sorry okay assuming that I need uh, an offset of 50 centimeter to every side so I just need to offset all edges and then make 50 okay but okay that's cool as you can see I'm having an offset of 50 to every side so if you hit the 3d will be having something like this and I don't like the flow bodies of this color so check this out so you can just select this and make sure that you come within sorry within the windows to the toolbars make sure that you just uh, check these attributes and it comes right here so I move it to this and then I chose this one surfaces I want to be changing these floorboards remember that it was this floorboard zone and then I want to change its texture all you gotta do is just come here into the textures and then sorry okay after coming to the textures you can either minimize the sizes as well as you like okay you can even have it like in print in the 40 45 degrees for example as you can see for example let me hit okay and as you can see it's just being like inclined somehow and then you can come back and change whatever you like by browsing so if you browse and then you make sure that you're within the archive library so we have bricks we have ceilings ceramics concrete flooring for example in this flooring you have the wood floorings for example so there are lots of wood then floorboards right here so i don't know your favorite one but for me this would work let's check the others as you can see we are having lots of tests i don't know about yours but let me just use my favorite ones okay like this one and then hit ok sorry 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 something went wrong okay I don't know why it's not actually cooperating, but this. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I need to have in the floorboard zero one. And then I browse it. I change to my favorite. I hit OK. I don't want to incline it. Then I hit OK. OK. So this, as you can see, it works for me. 
But the marble, the marble stones that we've already put in there, it's not working. So I come back to here. And then all I gotta do is just to remove this. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. I just browse. Come to the archcad library, to the surfaces, to the surfaces catalog, textures, and then flooring. I want. Okay. Let me use the tiles. I'm looking for the edge. So even if I may use this one, this will be so great for me. Okay, and I have this one. So far, I need to make sure that I design. I start preparing the first floor, of course, and then I'll just come to the first floor. As you can see, I'm having nothing else other than this staircase. So make sure that you come here and activate this trace and as you can see you can see your below floor plan so all i gotta do all i need to do for now is having uh this lab of course come here to this lab i have to 15 as usual to the zero offset and then on the top I want it to be floorboards, on the other side I want it to be paint painted to the titanium white. So I hit OK. And then let me draw exactly the way this one is drawn or let me just put this one. It just need to enlarge it like this and then I add and then I keep adding I keep adding this okay And then I keep adding on this one. Okay. I keep doing the same thing. The same thing. The same thing as here. Okay, okay. So far, let me just have a clear look how this is actually looking. So, as you can see for now, I'm having a structure like this. So, I want to make sure that this stair space is not closed. So, I click right here. And then all I gotta do is make sure that I remove the stairs. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I was adding actually, so I just click here and then OK. So, boom. This is it. Design our flows so I just closed right here so you can just see anything else as you like as you wish it but it will work for me for now like this okay 
so this is the way we are going to be dealing with our flow slabs and how that next time we come on starting uh, designing the other another story of course above this first floor of course so have fun guys i hope these videos are be really being so helpful i don't know i'm not getting lots of feedback so hope that you are using them to your advantages thanks for learning with us have fun and keep learning of course keep doing more practice because talks sorry it takes lots of practice actually to be uh, having a clear understanding to what you might be doing so guys i hope you're doing okay and keep practicing as loud as you can thanks for learning with us